Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with episode 2 of Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield on Nintendo Switch. We're continuing our 100% walkthrough of the game live here on YouTube, so shoutouts to all of you guys that have come on board. Speaking of coming on board, we have a lot of awesome new members that came on yesterday's, not yesterday, our previous episode. <laughs> and uh, all you new members, we are adding your names as nicknames to the brand new Pokemon that we catch. So I've got a couple of them that are still outstanding, so you too can become a member by clicking on that join button on my main channel page or the link in the description below. But as you guys can see over here, we are going to head over through the wild area and we're going to catch a bunch of different Pokemon. And by the end of this video, we are going to beat our very first gym leader. It's going to be so much fun. So again, thanks to all of you guys that are here, all of you guys watching, enjoying Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield content. You guys are awesome. If you guys have not already seen episode one, go check it out. Uh, get yourselves caught up. We got a lot of cool things and we're catching all the Pokemon. It's going to be amazing. One other thing that I do want to mention that we are doing a giveaway of a copy of the game. Your choice, Pokemon. Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield, and the way that you enter that one is going to be um, by answering a comment question of the day in the comments, and I'll randomly choose one of you guys to win it. The comment question of the day is going to be revealed at the very end of the episode, so stick around. All right, let's hit this. Uh, today's going to be a really cool one. I'm ready to go. I hope you guys are as well. Let's hit it. Let's uh, let's do a little bit of Charizard pose, yeah? No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. Yeah, boy! <laughs> Okay, all right, let's start our episodes by doing the Charizard pose. <laughs> anyway, uh, anyway, we're here. Let's uh, let's continue on. Let's see what we got here. Shout out to all you guys that are here. Thanks for coming. You guys are amazing. All right, so I'm ready to go. Oh, yeah, I guess we should do a recap, right? What Pokemon do we have? So we got Score Bunny Squad over here. This, uh, this guy's really good. I like him a lot. Uh, let's go over to the summary. We might as well take a look. Okay, so Score Bunny is on board with the uh, okay nature. We got Ember, we got Quick Attack. I should be moving Double Kick over here. And then a, yeah, Swift is a 60 base power. It's a special attack, so it's a little bit stronger than a Quick Attack, but depending on your stats accordingly. So he's pretty good. I like him a lot. Uh, we got uh, Bess uh, Kunoi Kunoichi. Yes, yes, yes. This is our little fox Pokemon. It is a Nicket. And he's a dark type, so he's pretty great. His moves are beat up, uh, quick attack, hone claws uh, in order to do even more work with beat up. So that's going to be really awesome. I like him. Uh, we also have this uh, this rookie. What's his name? Oh my gosh, I will I will forget this dude's name. Rookie D, Rookie D, flying type Pokemon. I don't know if he has any flying type moves yet besides Peck. Okay, he's got Peck and Power Trip, which is also pretty cool. So I like that. Uh, he's got a little bit dark. I don't know what the heck he's going to turn into. And again, no spoilers. We're all learning this for the first time, and it's going to be an amazing time. So anyway, we got Wooloo over here, the uh, the resident Wooloo. He's doing okay. Uh, we've got Payback. we got Tackle. Payback's probably better than that. Uh, we got Copycat and Defense Curl. So Wooloo is probably our like weakest link on the team, but I haven't used anyone besides Score Bunny, to be honest. All right, and then of course we did get ourselves a Yamper in the previous area. Yamper is looking really great because we got a timid Yamper. My goodness, I don't really know how fast Yamper's base stats are, but the fact that uh, we do have a timid nature one is going to be a little bit better for us. Special attack is 12. Attack is that. Speed is really, really low. I mean, it's not supposed to be a fast Pokemon at all. So timid's probably not the best bet, but it'll it'll outspeed the other uh, Yampers. Just saying. All right, what else we got over here? Uh, we've got Choodle. Choodle's a water type Pokemon. He looks really interesting. We named him Cage after one of our other members. And we've got Water Gun. We've got Bite and then Payback. So we got some really decent moves over here. Uh, Bite is a little bit stronger. Payback's not so good. But if you're slower, then you're going to get even uh, stronger attacks. So Payback is probably more his speed. His eyes are a little weird too. But other than that, we've caught a lot of different Pokemon. And uh, things are really, really cool. So I cannot wait to see what today's episode is in store. If you guys are enjoying Pokemon Sword and Shield content, be sure to smash that like button and share the video with a friend. Let's go. Look at that. That's Motostoke. Way off that way. And between here and there are countless new Pokemon waiting to be met. Oh, hello, and if it isn't Sonia. My gran gave me a proper earful in her own way. Those two young trainers are setting out on a journey, but what are you doing with your life? Huh, <laughs> ouch, professor. 
Uh, never owe you mind that. Uh, nothing to worry yourselves over. Besides, I've been quite curious about that Pokemon you two met in the forest. I've been thinking I should look into it, so the timing works out fine. If I discover something really huge, then maybe even Gren will admit I got some talent. Yikes. Being an adult has got its own challenges, eh? I said you didn't need to, buy, need to worry about it. I'm glad to be on the road. Really, it's been ages. It'll be fun to... Oh, dang. Did I just miss that? Hey, thanks so much for coming. Pad. <laughs> uh, it'll be great. Uh, fun to fish and camp. It's rough outside again. Well, I'm off to stick out my head in as many of those red glowing dens as I can find. All right, well, let's get Pad going. I got Pad on my fourth list over here for Pokemon. Trust me, we're going to get a lot of Pokemon. Yeah, that didn't pop up in chat, so I don't really know how that worked, but... Cool. Dynamax Pokemon, <clears throat> and fill in another page in the tale of my legend. Welcome, new member hype. Either way, if it didn't show up in chat, whatever. Thanks for coming. All right, what cheek? Dynamax Pokemon are really on another level, you know. You better Dynamax your partner Pokemon, too, if you want to take opponents that strong. You'll find spots here and there in the wild area that emit a red beam of light. If you think you're up for it, check them out. There'll be Dynamax Pokemon lurking inside. So with that, how about I send you off with a little treat from me? <clears throat> Pokemon Box Link. Okay. All right, it's a device that allows you to access Pokemon storage. Uh, yeah, cool. So this is like you could do it in Pokemon Let's Go. You just have all your Pokemon available. Okay, you can use the Pokemon links uh, to access your Pokemon boxes while you're on the road. You'll be able to add certain Pokemon to your party, transfer. Okay, so everything from Pokemon Let's Go. Awesome, good job. And shout outs to Serial. I think that was a serial brand new uh, member. Come on board. Hey, dude, we got a member train happening here. Uh, serial one, two, three. That's super cool. Thank you. I'm going to spell it right. Serial one, two, three. Welcome. Two members in a row. That's awesome. Let's keep the train going, guys. Uh, if we get 300 um, members on YouTube, we will absolutely do a brand new Premier Ball emoji. You guys know me. I catch all my legendaries in Premier Balls. So, yeah, we need to make sure we get that. So, all of you guys, thanks so much. We only need, like, what, 23, 24 more members in order to achieve that? I think we can do it. The Wild Area is waiting for you. This is the start of your real adventure. Okay, whoa, you guys see that, um, that glowing spear of light? I don't know what the heck to call it. Something's over there. And we better, oh, dude, we're going to spend a lot of time over here. We're in no rush. But like I said earlier, what we're going to be doing in this area is um, finding Pokemon. Oh my gosh! Onyx! Whoa, that was unexpected! Oh, you found a note. Did someone drop it here? The large Pokemon you see wandering around the wild area are strong. If you try battling one, and it seems like you're in over your head, try to run. Run like the wind. Oh my gosh! Okay, well, you know what? We got a, we got a water-type Pokemon. How do I swap? Okay, here we go. Get up there, Cage! All right, Johnny Cage. All right, let's go, Onyx. Give me that, Onyx. Yo, a very strong-looking Onyx. How strong? 26. All right, I'm out of here. <laughs> I cannot handle this. Oh, my gosh. 26 versus 9. I'm out, dude. See ya. You couldn't get away. Oh, my gosh. Rock Slide. He's going to wreck my team. So, well, there's that. That was, um, unfortunate. Yeah, so about that. We just got rocked. Cage just, sorry, Cage. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. Cooking at your camp can restore HP to your Pokemon, even the power points they need to use their moves. Uh, okay. Pokemon that have fainted and can't ban out will perk up as well as a piping hot plate of curry. Visit berry trees to collect plenty of berries. All right, well, let's go. Petch of berries, cherry berries. All right, three berries on the ground. Shake it, let's go, man. Is a wild Pokemon gonna fall from the tree? Why wouldn't we shake it? Give me all of these. Yo, I'm gonna milk this thing. There's still like a red berry on top. Does that mean that there's still more berries to to shake out? Yeah, there he is. That's who that's who I'm trying to go. Oh, watch out. It's Berry Boy. 
All right, you better not be like a high level, like a level 30, 30 little squabbit. No, level eight, that's fine. I was, I was looking for him, you know, because we learned that in Pokemon Sun and Moon, that if we shook trees, we can potentially, um, we can potentially get some Pokemon out, right? So that was cool. Oh man, that was real cool. All right, so we got a bunch of berries. I, he's not getting experience because he's dead. Hold on. Like, I gotta find a way to remi revive my dude. He's not getting experience because he's dead? Come on, man. Get up. How do I, how do I use my thing? How do I use my camp and start cooking? All right, I'm not gonna do anything until I figure that out. Because I'm not about to waste experience points. Uh, adventure guide, fishing rod, Dynamax, camping gear. Abdallah deer, this isn't the time to use that. This is exactly the time to use that. What are you talking about? Um. Oh, you click on Pokemon camp. Okay, great. That, that's also a thing. Hey guys. Okay, so in Pokemon camp, you and your Pokemon can play together and even eat together, growing closer. If your Pokemon grow very close to you, they may try extra hard during battle. And usually I don't like playing that way. Like playing with Pokemon and me and then they do like a love crit or like a love focus band or a focus sash. I don't really like playing that way, but you guys can do that. You can play using your Joy-Con. If you slide your Joy-Con off the system, you can wave one uh, to throw a ball for your Pokemon or retrieve the toy. If you waggle that Pokemon toy, it might them uh, entice them. Hanging out farther and back to come and play. Oh, that's cute. When you start up your game, you'll be able to play with three other trainers at a time. All right, I don't really know what the heck's going on, but um, hey, you, get over here. Get over here, good boy. Get over, yeah, you. Oh, cute baby. Ooh, you little spiky. Uh, well, let's chat. Okay, you wants to play with other Pokemon. Okay. Um, all right. Hey, Score Bunny. <laughs> hey, come on up here. Get up here. Oh, that's cute. Hey, dude. Uh, you want to play? Yeah, let's play. What do you want to play? You want to play Pokemon? Okay, well, um, all right. Well, let's do some cooking. Okay, cook up some fine curry. All right, your curries get more delicious if you choose to do things like using rare ingredients or adding lots of berries. Once you start cooking, fan the flames, okay? Don't go overboard. You don't want to spill. The last step will be to add a bit of soul at just the right timing, and you'll have made a masterpiece. Uh, if you finish cooking, it'll be time for everyone to dig in. So yeah, let's go. Uh, let's let's start some cooking. I okay. Select a berry. Well, I'm gonna do a little bit of cherry. Let's add two cherries, and I'm gonna do maybe like three orins. That's pretty good. Uh, I think we're gonna do that. We're gonna start cooking with five berries. Making that curry. Making that berry curry. All right. Start. Fan the flames. How? Oh, you press the A button. Do I just spam? Not too high, okay. Give it a good stirring. Whoa, that's a good stirring. All right, stir, baby, stir. I'm making shiny Pokemon. Uh-huh. Now what? Okay, put your heart into it. Heart! Okay, done. I I don't know if that's good, but hey guys, it's my first time cooking over here. Junior chef, we made some spicy curry. Please tell me this revives my uh Oh, you like that, huh? Okay. Oh, it's okay, taste rating. Wob effect class. Okay, your Pokémon's HP restored by half. Your Pokémon gained a few experience points. Score bunny and the rest of your party got friendly. Okay, where's my dead turtle? All right, my dead turtle's alive. Yeah, I, I think we're good. I don't really want to play Pokemon on me. Gained a little bit of experience. Hey, okay, cool. And look, I think Cage should be alive. I just got rocked by Onyx, so let me let me let me see what's going on. Okay, yeah, 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 we're good. He recovered all his health. It's a free revive rather than spend the two thousand dollars for revives. Okay, 
Well, let's take a look around. So this is the wild area. This is the first time in Pokemon history where we can have a free ro free roaming camera. What the? Bunnelby? Give me that. We got a free roaming camera. And uh, we can actually move around. This is like what we've always dreamed of, to be honest. So let's see how this works. Okay, so this is a Bunnelby. I'm going to go with a... Quick Attack or Swift? I don't know, man. I think I'm going to KO him. Let's do a Swift. Nice. Very nice. Laser Focus. New move. Concentrated. I don't know what Laser Focus is going to do, but uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to toss this Pokeball at you, my guy. All right. We're going to name this one after Avery. Uh, Avery was a brand new member on our episode one, which was awesome. He's forever emblazoned in the Let's Play as a, a member that came on board. So let's go. Let's get some more, man. I think we can easily get like four more members and be at 280 today. That would be amazing. So let's do that. All right. So Bun will be. Yeah, we're going to have a whole team of bunnies. <laughs> Just going to be score bunny and this dude. All right. So this is digging Pokemon. It excels at digging holes. Using its ears, it can dig a nest up to 33 feet deep in one night. Oh, yeah. Nickname time. We're going Avery. Avery, are you here? Avery, give me a hand wave emoji if you're still here. We're going to send that to the box. Yeah, I don't really need to use a, a Pokemon that's old news, but still cool. What is that? Hold on, hold on. What, what, what is this? Abdallah? Who's this? Wait, hold on. What? What are those icon? What do those icons mean? Oh, Boodoo! <laughs> Badoo. Badoof? Okay, Badoof, Badoof, Badoof. Here we go. Eat a Swift, Badoof. Oh, you can take two of those. Stun Spore, no! We're in my eyes, man. What is your actual problem, you big Badoo? <sighs> it's okay. We're gonna name him after Chris. This is little Chris over here. Little Chris is giving me a hard time spraying that in my eyes. What are you recovering? Mega Drain, what'd you do? Absorb? Get over here. Badoo. Badoo? Or Boodoo? Boodoo. All right, easy, easy, easy. Baku Bomber, man. Baku Bomber? Who wants to learn Fury Attack? No. Badu. Badu. Boodoo. <laughs> Boodoo. All right, Bud Pokemon. The pollen it releases contains poison. If the Pokemon is raised on clean water, the poison's toxicity is increased. Whoa, interesting. Yeah, we're gonna give him a name of Chris. Here you go, here's Chris. All right, Chris, are you here? Give me a hand wave emoji if you're here. Chris is here on our very first live stream. Oh, I'm not putting him in my party though. I don't need a voodoo. We're doing all Galar, man. What can Boo do do for you? I don't know, man. Boodoo. Okay, so that's Bunnelby. I caught another Boodoo. Uh, oh, oh, come on, get me. It's a Boodoo! <laughs> all right, so we're getting some, we're getting some pretty rare Pokemon here, right? The Badoos. Spit on them. Dang, what a bulky Boodoo! Worry Seed. No thanks. What does that eliminate my ability? It turns into insomnia. Yeah, Worry Seed is pretty cool. Oh, but I am paralyzed. I better figure that out quick before it uh, actually affects me. Boodoo, boodoo, boodoo. Boodoo, boodoo, boodoo. All right, I want to find some rare Pokemon, man. And then we're going to go, we're going to go find some dens or whatever they are. Another Pokemon here. What's that? Who are you? Tyrogue? Tyrogue? Hold on, Tyrogue? What are you doing here? A fighting type Pokemon? This early? All right, well, I hope it's a girl. It is a male, so I'm not going to call it Rebecca. We'll just call it Pad, I guess. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I mean, you can have a name. Like, not that there's anything wrong with that. Um, but Tyrogue is cool. Oh, 
Oh, I was supposed to go uh, quick attack. I'm sorry. But I still outsped him. Are you using counter? No. Wait, I'm supposed to catch him. I uh, I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm supposed to catch him. I'm supposed to catch Tyrogue. Too busy looking at comments here. All right. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna go bag. We're gonna do... I got a Paralyze heal. I think it's kind of annoying me. Thanks, Boodoo, by the way. For the pr paralysis, you fool. Score Bunny's doing work. Alright, yeah, let's find it. Hey, there you go. Okay, we need a female Tyrogue for Rebecca here. Little Voltor buys here. Okay, maybe not. Whatever. Um, just gonna beat him up. And I'm gonna catch him. And this is going to be for, um, I don't know, Pat. Maybe I should just name him Rebecca anyway. It doesn't matter. Gender doesn't matter. He's gender fluid, man. It's all good. Tyro can't be female, is that right? All right, I don't know. How do they breed then? With a ditto? Weird. All right, let's not talk about that. <laughs> okay. We got a little Tyrogue. That's actually really cool. You can get a Hitmonchan or Hitmonlee or Hitmontop if you decide to keep Tyrogue on your team. It's always bursting with energy to make itself stronger. It keeps on fighting even if it loses. All right, we're going to give uh, him a nickname of uh, Pad. Pad Woon Sen. Why not? That's a cool name. Send the box. Okay, so we got one. Pad, caught, awesome. We still have outstanding Rebecca and cereal. So let's do that. Cereal in the morning for breakfast. All right, oh, 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 who is that? Okay, so that's a Tyrogue, that's a Bunnelby. Oh, that's something I don't even know. I can't even see him, but let's... What? Okay, something rare. Stupid Bunnelby, why? Wait, double kick is super effective? You're ground and normal? Interesting, I'll try that next time. Or I'll just do quick attack, we're fine. All right, so what kind of Pokemon, all of you guys that are watching the comments right now, what kind of Pokemon do you think we're gonna find in the wild area? Other than these little babies. We're gonna find something crazy? That Onyx was insane though. Maybe I could have taken him. No, I don't think I have a single Pokemon that could take a rock slide though. Want to learn bite? Yeah, what do you want to learn bite with? Uh, nuzzle, tackle, yeah, get rid of tackle. See ya. Yeah, what are we gonna find? Uh, Pancham? You know, I think so. I think we could find a Pancham. That was in the little, um, what's that, Tyrogue? All right, well, we need to actually find some stuff here. That's a P-Dove, what? Give me that thing. Give me that thing. <laughs> That's cool. What the heck's P-Dove doing here? A level 10 P-Dove is gonna eat an Ember easily. And maybe 75% health? Or not? That's like a 40% health? Okay. Hopefully that wasn't like min damage because I'm gonna throw another Ember right at P-Dove here. And we're gonna name it after Rebecca. Even though it's a guy, I don't really... I mean, it's fine, whatever. Ow. Big crit. I don't think I've been matching names with genders at all, so just don't be offended. Just gonna... okay. <laughs> oh man, alright, anyway. So there are gonna be some like background noises. We are doing some construction upstairs on the kitchen. And... yeah, so I may need to mute my mic every now and then. They're doing some vacuuming now, but I think we should be okay. But anyway, we're going to be playing this game all day today in like maybe two hour blocks. So I hope that you guys will stick around. Okay, P-Dove. All right, cool. Where people go, these Pokemon follow. If you're scattering food for them, be careful. Several hundred of them can gather at once. All right, yeah, let's go. <laughs> all right. Rebecca, there is a P-Dove named after you. Thank you so much for becoming a member. All right, bird in the box. All right, so we have one more and then we're all caught up with members. This is great. Look at that, P-Dove, cool. 
All right, who else is here? I'm going to go to that. I don't even know what the heck that is, but I'm going. W who are you? Nice abs, dude. What the heck? Did you drop this? Use the right stick to rotate the camera. Okay, if you press the right stick, you can find a wider view of things. Press the L button to look straight ahead again. Whoa! What's up, Superman? Hey there, I found a bit of a rare item in the wild area. You want it only for a hundred W? Uh... What do you guys say? I'll let you guys decide. I'm sure we're going to farm more W later uh, later on, but I don't really know what the heck this is. Should we do it? Yes or no in the comments. Let me know. Yes or no. Wise. I don't know what the currency is. Yes? No? Maybe. It's 100. That's all of my money. But it is a rare item, so... We're going yes. Looks like we have a deal. I hope it helps you. Experience candy extra small. Are you kidding me? A very small amount of experience points. Dude. Your boy over here ripped me the heck off. Unbelievable right now. Experience candy. Small. You fool. How much? A hundred? All of my W points for a hundred experience points. That's like three battles. Whatever. Who's in here? The pillars of red light you'll see in the wild area marks Pokemon dens. Dynamax Pokemon dwell in these dens and you'll be able to battle them by investigating the den. You can start the battle on your own or get up to three players to help you out. There's energy pouring out of the den. You gain 300 W. Oh, that's not too bad. Defeat a Dynamax Pokemon and you'll get a chance at catching it. Okay. Okay. Additionally, there are some rare items that you can only obtain by doing Dynamax Pokemon. Okay. When a wild Pokemon Dynamax, they become incredibly powerful. They may unleash multiple moves in a row and take other actions you won't see in a regular battle. Working together with other trainers will be key to taking on these Dynamax Pokemon as a team of four. Bug Rock? Who's this? Uh, how do I invite people? Um, invite others? Bug and Rock. Well, Bug and Rock, I'm gonna switch. I don't think I'm gonna go Score Bunny for Bug and Rock. I got a, I got a big boy here. We're gonna do you. We're gonna select you. Cause I got super effective water gun. Um, looks, uh, you guys think it's Dwebble? You guys think it's Dwebble? Uh, let's invite others. I don't know how this works. Oh my gosh, what if you guys can join me? What if you guys are playing along with in two minutes? All right, join up right now. I don't know how this works. How would you be on the other side in order to join me? I don't know if I necessarily want to even um, wait two minutes for this. Some of you guys, some of you guys, uh, there's got to be people out here. Maybe. I'll give it, tw I'll give it 30 seconds. I'll give it 30 seconds, and if no one joins, I'm going to try to solo this thing. And I hope that there's computer people that populate in the event. So, I don't honestly know. We're going to find out. So, here we go. 10 seconds. Countdown. Yeah, this is kind of like Pokemon Go, where you're in a lobby for, whatever, 90 seconds. And you go from there. So, here we go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ready to battle. Start a battle. You don't have four trainers. We'll find some others. Yeah, yeah, come on. Okay, our first Dynamax battle. Or raid battle. Oh, dang. Yo, we got DJ over here. HD Rumble. Cool. All right, let's go. Okay. <clears throat> let's Dynamax. And let's go Max... Geyser. Oh, dude. Max Geyser. 90 damage. And water rains for five turns. Yo, we got a baby Togepi, Halucha, and uh, Salazzle. I think that's their names. Let's go. Oh, dude. I'm so good at naming Pokemon. Little did you know, I can name all 800 plus Pokemon. Big Beach Ball. Come on, big boy. Nice spike on your head. Yo, 1v1 me. Max Rockfall. Whoa. 
On the Togepi, that is a crushed egg. What, hung on? Focus Sash, Togepi. Alright, that's some pretty competitive stuff. He made Sandstorm, but now my rain... My rain is gonna negate the Sandstorm, so Togepi's gonna live. It's super effective. That was nothing. That's a trash move. Alright, now it's raining. Now I get boosted water damage. This is great. Ancient power. Use it, Togepi. Good job, buddy. How many Pokemon can we bring? Just one? Togepi's... Oh, dang! Togepi got the 10% all stats boost on ancient power with one HP. <laughs> okay. Good job. Alright, we're gonna go max, Dar max Geyser again. We're in the rain, so we might as well do it. Do it on me, not Togepi. Don't do it. Boom, on Salazzle. Died. It's super effective. Yikes. Oh, are you not dead? No, yeah, Salazzle's gone. Alright, well, that was worth a shot. Thanks for bringing him. The storm raging above you is growing stronger? What is this? Fortnite? I'm doing all the work, man. Started to rain. Yes, it did. Ancient power again. Nice, Togepi. There we go. And you... Wait, hold on, hold on. Togepi is getting these, like, 10% boost. Do you have, like, Serene Grace? Is that the ability? So you get 20% back-to-back? -back? You're insane. Nullified stat changes and abilities. Dwell will use Flail. Ow! Wow! Okay. So now Togepi doesn't have all those boosts. He's a bulky boy at 1 HP though. Just saying. Yeah, K.O. Ksing, 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 ksing. I'll throw a Pokeball now. Oh, catch or don't catch. Uh, okay, I guess I'm gonna throw a Pokeball. Am I gonna Dynamax this Pokeball? What the heck? Go! Get in the ball, Dwebble! Whoa! Two. Is it auto catch? I'm curious. Three. Click. Wow. Was that exciting? All right, whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Experience candy, Dynamax candy, rare candy too? And I got drill run, okay. That looks like a, just a, like a, a record. TRs are they called? Holy moly. All right, so we got a Dwebble. That was great. Uh, Dwebble, when it finds a stone appealing, it creates a hole inside it and you use it as a home. This Pokemon is a natural enemy of Roggenrola and Roly Coley. I'm sorry, I haven't met Roly Coley yet, but I'm glad that you retrofitted the um, the name. Uh, yeah, to, the, the Pokedex entry to reflect a brand new Pokemon. That's cool. All right, so this is Serial. Welcome, uh, one of our recent uh, members that came on board. So this is a level 18 Dwebble. My goodness, this guy is going to do some work. I don't really want to put him on my team, though, but he's going to be pretty decent. That's a high level Pokemon at the beginning, so we're gonna send it in the box though. Dwebble's old news, man. We're not gonna We're not gonna do that. But that was cool. Okay, guys, what did you think of that? Out of ten. Was that cool? Was that exciting? I thought that was awesome. That was real cool. I wanna do another one. Like no joke. All I'm seeing is Tyrogues though. Okay, so I can go to Hey, get this little kid away from me. A jar of honey. Oh, that was really cool. I did enjoy that one, but I want to see what this candy is. Rare candy. When consumed, it will instantly raise a level of one Pokemon. I will never use a rare candy on a Pokemon that's level 10. No, forget that, dude. You save that for, like, when you're in 90 or, like, 99. Dynamax candy. A candy that is packed with energy. When consumed, it will raise a Dynamax level of a single Pokemon by one. The higher level means the higher HP when Dynamaxed. Mm, okay. 
I don't really, I don't get that yet, but we'll figure it out as we go along. 800! Whoa, hey, hold on, that's two levels. You guys ready for an evolution? Oh my gosh. Evolution hype in the chat, typically 16 for your starters. Should I press the B button? What, score bunnies evolving? I've never seen this, I'm so excited. Hey! Raboot? Looks like a little ninja. Okay, score bunny evolved into Raboot. I don't know about that name. Raboot's data will be added to the Pokedex. Rabbit Pokemon, fire. It's thick and fluffy fur protects it from the cold and enables it to use hotter fire moves. Okay. Raboot? Cool. That's an, it's a decent design. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so we did get Drill Run. It's a TR, and a TR is consumable, which is unfortunate. So, uh, yeah, we don't want consumables. We want actual TMs here. And we got Stardust and Honey. I can sell that. Uh, honey, it's a lush, can be sold at low price to shops. Uh, other than that, we got some berries over here. We got a Polka Doll. We got new Great Ball qualities and fresh water. All right, well, that's interesting. Raboot, huh? Raboot. Look at all these Dynamax things, though. Hold on, hold on. I want to see if you can go into your old one and get some free W stuff. Can I click this? Doesn't seem to be anything in the den. All right, well, that's fine. There's another den over here. I don't need to mess... Oh, my gosh. I don't need to mess around with Ty Rogues. A tiny mushroom. Sell that in a shop. Easy. Just like in all the other Pokemon games. This is going to be free Ws? Yeah... See, I don't know if I should just leave the W. Oh my gosh! Um, what's her name? Oh, Mudsdale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Muds. It's very strong. I don't know if I could take him. Thirty-one. I'm out. Uh, I need. I'm gonna use a Pokeball. Poke doll. I'm not about to lose my starter right now. Mudsdale. I'm, I'm dipping, man. Even though it's a slow Pokemon, I'm dipping out. That's not even worth losing a Pokemon for. Okay, there's energy pouring out of the den. Okay, 300. Psychic flying? Is this a Natu? What do you guys think? Should we go do Natu? Oh, man. Natu, psychic flying. Uh, Yamper is probably the best bet, right? Let's see if Big Yamper can do some work, right? Psychic flying. Uh, we're not going to invite others. Some trainers will join the battle. That's fine. That's cool. So you don't have to worry. You don't have to worry about waiting. It's just really, hey, you know what? Let's do another Dynamax battle and let's go. This is cool. And you got a lot of cool rewards from doing so. So why wouldn't you grind out these Dynamax battles? All right, Yamper, get big, boy. Look at what do you guys have? You have, oh, I forgot this guy's name. He was in the latest generation. And then we got Soul Rock and Magikarp? Okay, whatever. We're gonna go Dynamax, uh, Max Lightning. And that does, turns the ground into electric terrain for five turns. Yeah, let's go. Del Mies? Okay. Yeah, it was like a ghost grass type or something. Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, dude, that Magikarp's gonna get rocked. Unless it goes like Dynamax Magikarp, which I don't know if it can. Max Airstream. Oh gosh, super effective. Just done. Delmise is gone. Critical hit, super effective. And you get a boost, your speed rose. Great, well, at least he took a hit for us. Way to go, whoever the heck that was. Soul Rock, Cosmic Power. Hey, that's good. Getting a little boost. Your defense rose and your special defense. Okay, that was great. Why don't you try doing some work, though? This is going to be like a long 10-minute battle here. I wish it could just go faster. Stored power, okay. Hey, that's half my health. Come on, man. 
Hydro Pump on Magikarp? Wait, wait, when did Magikarp learn Hydro Pump? What are you doing? Soul Rock Speed. Why are you- Oh, you're probably doing Stored Power. But why would you use Stored Power on a Psychic type? Magikarp with the Hydro Pump, though. What are you doing? Wait, how did your Pokemon recover from fainting? How is- oh, okay, I don't really know. These rules are out the window for Dynamax battles. Don't confuse me. Your Pokemon recovered from fainting and now you're just like, Alright, well, I'm back. You guys miss me? Rock throw. Okay. Hydro pump off a of Magikarp. Miss, of course. Go figure. And that's KO on Natu. Let's catch him. Oh, dang. Guys, we're all caught up. We're all caught up on members. I was, I was looking at my list over here. Serial was the last one, so that was great. If you guys want a Pokemon named after you for the Let's Play and forever be emblazoned and help us reach our goal of hitting 300, by all means, become a member by clicking on that Join button. Or click on the link in the description. There's a link in the chat. It's all a bunch of stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know if... It seems like as long as you beat it, it's 100% capture rate. But that's just based off of this. Okay, experience candies. Experience candy, citrus berry, quality berry, and we got try attack, which is also okay. So that was interesting. That was very interesting. So yeah, I'm down for that. Okay, not to. Okay, tiny bird Pokemon, extremely good at climbing tree trunks and likes to eat new sprouts on the trees. Cool. All right, so no nickname on Zatu's friend Natu, and we're gonna put him in the box, and we are done. We got a lot of experience points, which is real good. Doesn't seem to be anything there. Dude, like look, look at all this stuff. There's these pillars of light everywhere in this wild area. All right, well, let's go run. Let's go run, run past the Tyrogues, run past the Bunnelbees. Who's that, Magikarp? Metapod, get over here! My favorite Pokemon. Ask me what my favorite Pokemon is. It's flipping Metapod, are you crazy? What level, eight? All right, let's do, uh, let's do a Swift. Metapod, Metapod. Oh, survive it, Metapod, I needed you in my life. That would have been a free Butterfree, dude. Oh my gosh. Metapod. A uh, Metapod, my guy, my little guy. Oh, you wanna sell me something, you fool? Okay, I got the finest ingredients. Uh, bread, pasta, pre-cooked burger. What's the meat made out of? One of many ingredients you can use in your camp. Unsure about what to cook, you can't go wrong with some burger. Sausages, what are the sausages made out of? I'll take two of each. Two loaves of bread. Oh, I'll make some pasta. Pre-cooked burger, you guys let me know in the comments. What do you guys think the burger and the sausages are made out of? Are they all vegan? Vegan sausages? Vegan burgers? Beyond Meat Burger? Could be. Yo, that's a fat boy. I don't know if I want to access him, though. Diggersby? Uh, hi? Should we get him? I think he's going to be too strong if he's out and about like this. What do you guys think? A very strong looking Diggersby. Yeah, I don't think so, man. 26. I'm out. I'm just wasting all these Poké Dolls. But what, what was I going to do with the Poké Dolls anyway, right? What was I going to do with the Poké Dolls anyway? That's what they're there for, right? To get you out of a tight spot. Give me some W. All right, well, we're kind of running over here. Oh, Butterfree! Oh, that's got to be a super strong Butterfree. No, forget that. I need my Metapod, though. Bunnelby, Tyrogue. Uh, you got some other Pokemon here. Yeah, I guess we're collecting W. So, I guess my real question is... What happens if you don't collect the W? 
Will it eventually turn into a um, a pillar of light? Should I leave the W there? I don't know, man. We're all figuring this out. It's uncharted territory. Uh, Metapod, Metapod, Metapod. I want a Caterpie, though. What's that, Tyrogue? This is nasty. There we go. I was going to say, what's with all the Tyrogue? Now, forget that. Tyrogue and Bunnelsby? Bunnelby? No, we don't need them. Give me this Metapod. Uh, who's weak enough to take on this Metapod? Power trip? Best... Uh, yeah, you can do some work. You know, I can honestly throw a Pokeball at the Metapod, and I could probably get him first try at full health because his capture rate. Did you guys see a Ralts? What are you talking about? I love Ralts. Oh my, I'm not about to do... Okay, we're playing this game, aren't we? We're playing this game, aren't we? What he doesn't realize is that Swift is a special move, and it goes right through his defense. So I'm going to do another Swift, which should bring him to, like, around 1 HP. Are you kidding me, crit? Metapod, we will meet again. Metapod, we will meet again, and I will catch you. I'm just going to throw a Pokeball at you, you stupid Metapod. Alright, anyway. Yo, we're getting a lot of this W. Alright. Where did you see a Ralts? You're crazy. You're just seeing things. It's just Tyrogues. I don't even like Tyrogue. Yo, Roselia, that's a bait. Uh, you think that's gonna be a baby Roselia, but that thing. Ah, get out of here! Ah, help! A small child's running after me. <laughs> oh boy. 300 W. And it is a Noivern. Noibat? Dude, are you kidding me right now? You're giving me access to a dragon Pokemon this early in the game? Whew! Oh boy. Let's go. Wow. I don't have an ice type, but I used the wrong Pokemon. Oh gosh, this is bad. I used the wrong Pokemon. I did not change my thing. I don't think I'm gonna win now. I don't have a Pokemon that has ice and or, I got electric is neutral. Um, yeah, Big Bunny, I don't know what you're gonna do. These are both terrible moves for you. And I'm gonna waste the turn switching. Oh, I can't switch. Ah, uh, well, that's bad news. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna have to go Dynamax. Ah, uh, you got a couple of Focus Sashes here. Own Tempo, Levitate, Serene Grace. Okay, so you did have Serene Grace. Well, I mean, that's all I got, so we might as well fight. And, um... Let's Dynamax up. I'm gonna do Move Info, Max Flare. Intensifies the Sun. As a Fighting Type, uh... This raises ally Pokemon's attack stats. That's kind of cool. This one's lowers the target speed. So we might as I'm just gonna go max knuckle. I know it's not very effective, but that's all I can do right now. So let's hit it. Judgmental coming on board as a member. Hey. Judgmental's like, yo, I need to be named after this Noibat. So hey, welcome. Thanks so much. Everyone welcome. Judgmental deity. A dragon Pokemon this early into the game. Max Airstream. That's uh, pretty weak. I'm okay. You know what? That did fine. Oh, dude, and, I, and my team is doing work, so we're fine. Look at that. A Noibat. That's cool. Although, Noibat takes forever to evolve, so... By the time you get, like, Noivern, it's like, what, level 55 or something crazy like that? That was real good. We had some good teammates here. 
Glad to be a part of the member family. I'm glad to have you. I don't know if I can fit Judgmental, but we can call him JD if you want. You cool with JD? We can call him JD. Give me a thumbs up if you'd like that. Yeah. Yeah, that was cool. Get those candies, get some wiki berries, and I got a rare, but what is a rare, but oh, a TM for Dragon Claw? <laughs> or a TR? Yo, that's a one time use. Uh, we'll call him JD. After Judgmental. Okay. Uh, after nightfall, they emerge from the caves. They nest in during the day. Using their ultrasonic waves, they go on the hunt for ripened fruit. Wow, cool. A Noibat. He would be a really good asset to the team, just saying. But he's old news, right? Oh, what level? He's got to be like 18 or something. 15. That's pretty good. That's like rivaling my Pokemon right now. So we're going to send her the box. It would be really easy mode if we just captured a Dynamax Pokemon and put him on our team. But again, like I said earlier, I want to really focus on Galar Pokemon for our team. So anyway, that's kind of where we're at. Roselli, I'm not going to touch. Like that thing is going to destroy me, even though it's like as, as small as this. No way. Okay, so there's a gigantic purple light. We will make our way over there, okay? Trust me, we're going to do all this stuff. We're going to be Dynamaxing and all that fun stuff. Yo, hey, Pancham! Hey, I like this little guy. Mold breaker. Yeah, breaking that mold. Level 10, I can do a quick attack or two, I think. You're a bulky little boy. You can take two of these. I think you can take two of them. I think it's safe to say. Good. Remember Pangoro? Dude, I used Pangoro in uh, Pokemon... What was that? Pokemon X and Y? Did I use them in Pokemon X and Y? I remember. Pangoro was good. He had one move that was really exclusive to him, didn't he? Someone remind me in the comments if you guys are Pokemon Masters. He had an exclusive move, and it was, like, very gimmicky. Yo, we got a team full of girls over here. I didn't realize. <laughs> Alright, that's cool. Alright, so we're all level 11s. This is fine. I'm not really... I'm not worried at all. At all. Okay, Pancham's data. Okay, it chooses a Pangora as its master and then imitates its master's action. This is how it learns to battle and hunt for prey. Cool. Parting shot, you're right. Stavia in the comments. It was parting shot. It would do something like that and then switch out. I don't remember. Uh, no, we're not going to bring Pancham. No, he's old news, man. But we have him, which was cool. Oh, okay, so we're sending him to the box. Got a lot of cool Pokemon. Oh, is that a Cleffa? No. <laughs> Get out of here. Like, I don't need Thai rogues. The variety is uh, kind of lame. It's like playing Pokemon Go, right? Where you see nothing but like a bunch of Rattatas and Pidgeys all over your town. You're like, come on, man. Give me like some Larvitar or something, something like that. Okay. I kind of want to just one-shot this dude. Look at, he's a ninja. He's kind of like Gruninja, but he's like the fire variant. That's so cool. I should really give him another experience candy. Like, why not, right? Why not? He's my starter. He's coming to the end. All right, anyway, give me some candy. I got some, uh, ooh, dang, 15 of these? Uh, or I got the small ones. I'll use two. 1,600? Oh, dang. Okay, I mean, that's fine. It's easy leveling up. Level 19, though. He's the leader of the bunch. You know him well. All right, Flame Charge. I don't like Flame Charge at all. He's already naturally fast, but I like Priority. I don't really need Swift. So I guess I'll go I'll go with Flame Charge. That's fine. Okay, okay, looking good. I could I could pour in this extra small candies if I wanted to, but I'm going to hold off. I don't really need it yet. We'll bulk him up before the gym battle. Is that a Cleffa? No, why do I keep on thinking it's Cleffa? Looks like Cleffa's little ears. All right, 300W, and this is a normal flying. All right, guesses in the comments as to who the heck this little normal flying Pokemon is. Looks like Pidgey. Looks like Pidgey. Looks like Pidgey. It better not be another P-Dove. 
Oh, dang it. Can I run now? Can I run? I mean, I don't really... How many times can I Gigantamax or Gigamax or whatever? I just do it infinitely? Like... Max Flare? Uh, Max Flare 100 damage, Max Flare 90 damage. Well, we might as well do this one. Because it's physical, and this one's special. Oh, interesting. Yeah, let's go. I do not want this big bird. I kind of want to like hold the X button and fast forward though. I'm kind of getting tired of this uh, animation. Like, yes, I've seen Big Bunny before. Big Bunny versus Big Bird, who wins? There's your Cleffa, helping hand, give it to me. Why, why Cleffa, or Clefairy? <laughs> give it to me. And Clefairy use follow me, what the heck? That's not helping hand worthy. Uh, that's fine, whatever teammates. So much for that, I mean, I'm, I am the big bunny on the team. Sunlight turned harsh. Maractus, Giga Drain on a flying type. Good job. Well, follow me is a very, very good strategy on these battles, for sure. Especially if you got a bulky Pokemon like Clefairy. That's an amazing strat. You use follow me, so you target all the attacks on you. And then, I don't know, is there a, a move in competitive Pokemon that heals another Pokemon? And you got two people just taking the hit and healing the person that took the hit. And then the other two Pokemon just keep on attacking. Dude, that'd be so insane. What's the move that heals other Pokemon? Heal Pulse. That's it, Guardian Jane. You're right. Heal Pulse from Audino, right? Audino learns that move. Definitely not Heal Bell. I don't know why P-Dove uh, was like in the shadowed. Why was he shadowed out? I've seen this Pokemon before. Okay, I mean, we're getting candies. We're getting Tri-Attack. That's cool. I mean, and we're, I think, I presume we're getting experience. Okay, that was great. Thanks. Who's that over there? Whoa, the purple one though, guys. The purple one is coming. We are gonna go get that purple one. We're just gonna make our way around, man. It's like, there's no rush. There's honestly no rush. You could just hang out here and do raids all day. Okay, thanks. All right, great. Okay, now this is a... Pancham always looks like a Clefairy on top. What is that? A shiny Tyrogue? No. Get out of here, little child. Stop it. Dappled Grove. What are these? Hold on. What the heck? Timpole? Give me that. Oh, those eyebrows, though. Okay, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do Timpole. And it's raining over here. What's... It's raining and there's an electric current on the field? Okay, uh, I guess. I should've used Ember, that would've been better. Oh no, this is fine. Two quick attacks and we're done. Is it because there's a lightning storm? That's actually really cool. Okay, so maybe there's a lightning storm in the area. And so now there's like electricity on the ground and it's raining. So like your strategies are even better. That's, that's real cool. The combination just from nature uh, is pretty cool. Cool. Temple. Okay, very, very nice. Very nice. Look at that. We're all leveling up. You want to learn Snarl? Oh, Snarl's actually really good. Uh, Snarl's good. Snarl does what? 55 special damage? That's better than uh, Swift, for sure. Adios.
Temple. Okay, uh, graceful ripples running across the water's surface are a sure sign that Temple are singing in high-pitched voices below. All right. Interesting. Nice to know ya. Welcome to the team, Temple. I don't need to catch your brethren, but I will take this money. And who oh, that's a guy over there. A fancy apple. Whoa. A fancy apple. All right, here's this dude. What's up, some young guy? Found a rare item. Yeah, absolutely, I'll take it. Two, yeah, that's fine. You know what, I was I was thinking that the W points, the currencies, were like really, really rare, right? But it's not the case. Yuck! Seismitoad? Nope. I don't think so. Electrike? Who's this? Bulbasaur? Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll take him. Yeah, we'll, we'll absolutely. Well, I, I mean, I got Yamper, but I'll still take this guy. Let's see, it's raining, so that means that my fire type moves are going to be not very effective. I'm gonna go for a double kick. One, two, and catch. That's it. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, here we go. We're going to go Pokeball on ya. We gotta catch this Electric. One does not simply walk away from a cool... Dude, and you know, Mega Manectric was one of my favorite Mega Pokemon. This guy's a punk. This guy's refusing to be caught at such a high HP. Uh, well, you know what? I don't care. Get in the ball, Nebby. I throw them perfectly without rotating at all, so there's that's gotta mean something. Thank you. Got him, got him. All right, deal. Get some experience for catching, awesome. And let's move on out. We got a new Manectric, or Electric. Uh, it stores uh, static electricity in its fur for discharging. It gives off sparks and if a storm approaches. Okay, would you like to uh, give a nickname? No, we're fine. No, we're not gonna swap them either, we're fine. This is our original team. We raised these from babies, dude. Not replacing them. No, thank you, Timpole Electric. You guys are cute, though. Look, I don't even have to run at full speed. What is this? Another Electric? Another Berry Bush? What is that? Timpoles? Nuzleaf? He's big, though. Nuzleaf, what are those two dots on your chest? <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna go double kick. I mean, it is super effective if I use an ember, but the rain is also a hazard. So let's see how much it does. Yeah, I could do two of those. Where'd you go? Oh, okay. I was gonna say, like, are you running away? What is this? Oh, gosh. All right, well, this is fine. I've got one option. It's gonna absorb me a little bit here. I like this little bunny though. All right, here we go. Pokeball, go, I choose you. Nuzlocke. <laughs> Did Nuzleaf always have a bare chest like that? I never really realized. Did they give him uh anatomical accuracy in this generation. <laughs> guard split, okay. Um, what the heck is guard split? Uh, psychic power to average the things of his, uh, no. Oh, we're okay. Guard split. Okay, Nuzleaf. <laughs> Uh, it lives deep in the forest with the leaf on its head. It makes those uh, makes a flute song. Uh, make it, hold on, hold on. It makes a flute whose song makes listeners uneasy. Well, I think just looking at you makes me uneasy. No. What if? I'm gonna stop right there. <laughs> We're not talking about the anatomical correctness about Nuzleaf here. We're not talking about that. It's kind of funny though. I'm gonna go for 10, man. Go for 10 before your stupid uh, squirrel comes and eats all of them. 
whatever. I'm done. I gotta go and do some more Dynamax things. We're gonna be here all day. We're gonna be here all day doing all this nonsense stuff if we don't start doing some work. Yo, I'm taking this. A Balm Shroom. Okay, sold at a high price. I'm making money on the ground. Hey, what is this? So, what would you like to do? Spend my Watts. They're called Watts, by the way. They're Watts. Oh, a Luxury Ball. My goodness. A Wishing Piece. Throw one into a Pokemon den to attract wild Pokemon. Wow, metronome trick. Oh, aura sphere. Whoa, a fighting move. I want it. I want that. Foul play. Earthquake? Oh, man. Give me the actual TMs, though, but a luxury ball sounds pretty cool. Dang. Look at that shop, though. All right, what is this? Tim poles. Don't need them. Here's a little thing. Dude, I can get aura sphere? Man. Nuzleaf. Temple. Beware of the beware right now. I'm, I'm really going to beware of that thing. He is going to destroy me. Although I kind of want to go 1v1 on him. I kind of want to go 1v1 with him. Is that a Ralts? No, that's not a Ralts. Dude, who said Ralts in the chat? There was never a Ralts. Okay, I honestly think that, like, I'm not supposed to drain these 50 watt things. I'm, I'm supposed to, like, let them... Let them turn into something good. Watchtower Ruins. Uh, okay, you guys ready for another... What the heck? That's Noiba and Duskull! Hold on, I need all these things. Get, get over here. These are, like, ghost Pokemon now. You can kind of, like, pick and choose, like, whatever you want. Oh, very strong looking. What do you mean, very strong looking? You were just in the grass. 29, I'm out. I think I can outspeed him. Thank you. I want this little bat, though. Oh, a Ghastly! Oh, go, 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 go! We can have Gengar! Ah, as much as I love Gengar. A strong-looking Ghastly? Come on, man. Should I just throw a YOLO Pokeball at him? 27? Nah. I mean, Ghastly... I can't. I can't. Um, no. I couldn't get away. He used Spite. Oh, no! Okay, that Duskull, though. A White Herb. Whoa! White Herb. That's a competitive item right there. Alright. I want that Woobat. And I want that Ghastly, but these guys are too strong for me. And a Wingle? Alright, here we go. What the heck is this? Um, What's the Musharna? Prevo? What's this thing? Who's that Pokemon? Muna? Muna? Something like that. I used the wrong Pokemon, of course, again. Uh, but hey, we got some teams. Hey, yo, big, big old Muna! Give me that money. All right, Mana, let's go. Mana Bobana. Quillfish is Intimidate. Oh, and a Jolteon hanging out? Oh, I love Jolteon. Dazzling Gleam. Well, I'm going to use some fire type stuff, and we should be okay. So let's go fight. We're going to go uh, Gigamax. We're going to go Max Flare, and then we win. I'm getting tired of these uh, animations a little bit. Not bad. Quarter health? Good. What's the rest of the team doing? Electro Ball. Cool. I guess. Waterfall. Get the flinch. Max Mindstorm. Whoa. Sorry, Jolteon. Wow. Jolteon's gone. Battlefield got weird. See, like, one of the things, too, that I don't really remember playing in competitive Pokemon was, like, all of the... Wait, what? You just healed everyone with a move? Oh, that's awesome. When I, I didn't really play around or mess around with the um, 
environment field kind of effects in Pokemon competitive battling. I never really got into that. So there's like the um, the electrical ground, the psychic ground. I think the psychic ground you can't go to sleep. Something like that. I don't remember. Um, I gotta really look that Like electric terrain, fairy terrain, all that stuff. So what's the deal with Mew? I see a lot of you guys talking about Mew. What's the deal with that? Did I miss out on something? Is there like something you gotta connect in order to get a Mew? Just gotta open up my Pokeball Plus and a Mew is just gonna show up over there? Like what's the deal? If you got info on that, please let me know. There's Mana. All right, Dream Eater Pokemon. Late at night, it appears besides people's pillows. Uh, as it feeds on dreams, the patterns on its body give off a faint glow. Kind of reminds me of a uh, Baku. Baku. You guys remember Baku? What do you know about Baku? Get out of here, Duskull. I'm not strong enough. Wingle? Uh, I mean, I want to get a Wingle. Uh, you know, here. You know, I need to. I need to register you as seen. That's probably ghastly. It has to be a new Pokeball Plus? You're kidding me. Oh, that stinks. That's a 28. I'm not gonna take it. Couldn't get away. Curse. Oh, gosh. Well, I mean, if that's Curse, then you're already at half health, then I should be able to um, throw a Pokeball at you. Maybe some Great Ball qualities? Oh, man. All right, here we go. Just gonna, I'm gonna YOLO it. What do you mean you can't throw a Pokeball? You can't throw a Pokeball, it won't let its guard down. Well, get the heck out of here, man. That's trash. Can't throw a Pokeball. What you mean I can't throw a Pokeball? I don't know about that, man. Is this a very strong one? 26. Alright, I gotta get out of here, man. Since when has that ever stopped me from throwing a Pokeball at a higher level Pokemon? Like, come on now. <sighs> Alright, anyway, moving on, moving on. We're making our way to that purple light. It's coming. We got a couple more Gigantamaxes, and there's Ghastlies all over the place. They're all coming after me. They know I'm like free food. They're just gonna eat me. Give me that. Max Revive, that's cool. That'll help out in a pinch. Alright, who's here? Who's that Pokemon? 300W, got it. Uh, a Ghastly! Hey, that's my free Ghastly! Let's go! I'm going to switch Pokemon to... Who? Who's got a Dark-type move that's going to be some good work? We're going to use this Fox. We've never used them before. I don't know if he can Gigantamax, but I'm going to try it. Nick it? I don't think it can. How can you tell? How can you honestly tell uh, if you can Gigantamax or not? Can just everything Gigantamax? Or Gigamax or Dynamax, whatever the heck it's called? Wow. It keeps the Pokemon's cry. All right, well, we're gonna go and we're gonna take a look at this. Max Darkness lowers the special defense. Uh, no thanks. Max Dark, uh, Max Guard, uh, Protect Itself, Max Strike. I guess that's the only thing I got is a special attack. Yeah, if I use this twice, I should be fine. But I'm gonna use Beat Up first. We're gonna use this first one. Max Darkness Physical, because I know that Ghastly's physical attack stat is nothing. Or sorry, Ghastly's physical defense stat is next to nothing. So I'm gonna use a physical attack stat. And then, since its special defense will lower, I might use a special variant of it. We'll see. So this is our little wolf. He's kind of cute. He's facing off against Ghastly, one of the more popular Pokemon. Max Phantasm. Luigi's Mansion over here. Whoa, cool. Not very effective. Sorry, buddy. But lowered my defense. 
How'd your pump it from a magic carp? Max darkness. Not enough damage, but Rock Tomb, nice. It's a good chunk. Gotten a half health. Life Dew. Oh dang, look at that. Life Dew is the is the jam. It just pretty much heals everyone. It's like a group hug. I like that. Life do. All right, we're gonna go with another. We're gonna go with this this one. It's gonna be special variant. So because his special defense is lowered by a stage, I think this should do a little bit more. Spite. Okay. Yeah. There we go. There we go. That one was. That's the key right there. Good job. Now Ghastly just lit on fire. I only have six more Pokeballs. I should have bought a lot more. I should have bought Pokeballs 10 at a time to get Premier Balls. Why didn't I do that? Come on, Ghastly. I love Ghastly. If I get a Timid Ghastly, I'll be through the roof. Timid Ghastly, woo boy. Happy birthday to me, Timid Ghastly. I'll need someone to trade that Gengar with. All right, so we got, oh, Shadow Ball is a TM or a TR, that's great. Dynamax candy, experience candies, I mean, we're good. We're fine. Ghastly, deedly, deedly. Born from gases, anyone would faint if it engulfed by its gaseous body, which contains poison, whoa. All right, there's our Ghastly. I wanna look at his summary. Let's take a look at him. Hardy nature, wah wah. Payback lick, level 17, spite, mean look. I mean, it's cool. It'll evolve into a Haunter real quick, but I don't need him. That's old news. We're here Galar only, man. All right, so that was great how we did Ghastly. I was kind of bum- Oh, what, Duskull? I want him, but I'm not strong enough. And there's a Krabby. There's a cookie. Give me that cookie cookie. Oh, it's a wild Krabby. He's not like strong looking. I think I could not KO him. Yeah, there we go. I can do this twice. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, you know, I'll do it twice. I'll do it twice. Metal Claw. Whoa, that's cool, dude. So, um, just so you. Uh, I saw someone comment earlier about the TRs versus the TMs. There are still TMs in the game that are infinite usages, but there's also TRs, which are technical records that will allow you to use that item once. They're consumable. So both of them exist in the game. I just don't really know the full TM list of what's TM and what's exclusive to TRs. And if they put like the really good stuff exclusive to TRs, that's gonna be pretty bad. It'll force people to do all these little raid battles in order to get a chance at getting a, a competitive move for their team. Which I don't know how I feel about it, but I mean, we're jumping to conclusions right now. The game just came out, so we'll figure it out eventually. Okay, we got a little bit of... Uh, it can be found near the sea. Large pincers grow back if they're torn out of their sockets. What? Holy moly. Yikes, you think that's uh, that, that fetches for a pretty good price at like the shops? Like Krabby Claws? That's like lunch. Get some Krabby Claws, it's okay. Chop it off, it'll grow one right back. Sustenance, man. That's how people stay alive in the Gala region. They eat Krabby Claws. Noibat. I saw, I got a Noibat, I don't need it. All right, here we go, purple time. Who's in here, Timple? Who's here, Fampy? Who's this? Who's that? Sobble? Wooper! Ah, Wooper! Okay, I don't like Wooper, but sure, we'll take him. Wooper! Wooper duper. Super duper Wooper. Look at this little Kai. Boom! Kick to the mouth. Boom! To another kick to the mouth. And that's perfect health. Excellent. Missed. Watch out! Sorry, whoops. Quagsire, though. Quagsire is pretty decent. 
EQ, bait out the grass moves, switch into Sap Sipper. Yeah, dude. Quagsire is really cool. Uh, have I ever used the Quagsire in a competitive team? Probably not. Alright, let's go. Whooper! Hey, Waterfish Pokemon! This Pokemon lives in cold water. Uh, it will live... It will leave the water to search for food when it gets cold outside. Alright, cool, right? Don't need a nickname for Whooper. I don't want to do that either. Whooper, goodbye. You big whopper. Alright, so we need to somehow find Pokeballs. Because I'm legit out of Pokeballs. I got like three left. So we better do this gigantic purple aura. Or else we lose. Okay. It's a uh, core fish? I don't know. What do you guys think? It's just a straight water type. Who's that Pokemon? I'm going to go with uh, this dude. <laughs> Did I get that right? That's That was my first impression of core fish. So we're going to do it. And why is he in a purple aura? Like, what's the deal with that? Like, what's the difference between, like, the the purple versus the pink? Okay, so it was indeed Corefish. Come on, Yamper. Shock him. Torkoal's Drought? And a Snorlax! And a Throw? Alright, well, we don't need the Drought, but thanks. Oh, I used to love Torkoal. Oh my gosh. Torkoal in the sun in like double battles. Remember we did the battle tree in Pokemon Sun and Moon. That was amazing. We used Torkoal in doubles all the time. You guys remember my team setup for that? It was Torkoal and someone else. And we did some crazy, pretty, pretty crazy uh, shenanigans for all that stuff. Max Darkness? Yes. Oh my gosh, is that me? Am I dead? Special defense spell. Well, he knows who to aim for. Trash damage. Someone slow him down. Excuse me? Well, he probably chose that because he wanted to um, use the sun. Well, my puppy's gonna go down, but it's fine. Water gun on Snorlax. Okay, good. Flamethrower. Keep it up, dude. Burn him. I don't know if you can put status effects on these dudes. Snorlax is crunching on him and throw, what are you doing? Revenge? What are you revenging for? Bubble Beam on Snorlax. He's bulky. Snorlax is pretty bulky. Max Lightning again. And then, can the team take him down to the last hits? Stomping Tantrum? I've never seen that move before. And revenge for the KO! Toss that Pokeball, we win. Oh man, Pokeball, go! I mean, we haven't seen a Pokemon crack out of this thing yet. So I don't know if it's 100% capture rate. Hey, Benjamin. Hey, Benjamin. Hi, Benji. Benji. Yeah, it's easy. Pretty easy to get. <sighs> okay, uh, we got a pearl. Oh, and we got waterfall. It's an amazing waterfall. Is a really, really good water attack. Chance of flinching. Physical attack. Okay, no matter how dirty the water in the river, it will adapt and thrive. It has a strong will to survive. Oh, that's cool. A little lobster. Okay, send it to a box. A box. Okay, that was great. 
Uh, and you guys saw the little thing that said now saving? Like, what saved? Like, you can't soft reset this area? Is there auto save? I thought, I thought there wasn't. I don't need another corpish. Adios. Ugh, look at me straight leave this spot. All right, so we made our way around. Um, where are we at? An hour and a half? What is that? Oh, Gyarados! How do I get it? Yo, Gyarados, though. All right, let's go take a look at some other um, lights. Well, the area was kind of cool. Yeah, I want your brilliant thing for a hundred bucks. A big pearl. Yeah, I will sell that for big money. Thank you. For a hundred W's? Oh, you fished it up. No wonder. Okay, that's great. Who else is in here? I don't want... I, I, want, I want this little baby bear. Look at these cute little guys. Hi, guys. It's me. Hi. All right, I'll catch you fine because you're so cute. You little stuffle. You little baby bear. You look like a little cat, too. Everything looks like a cat. All right, level 11. Here we go. If you survive this ember, I will catch you. Fine. Oh, that's cute. You just fell to the ground. All right, I... Hmm, if you survive this quick attack, I will catch you. Okay, fine. Baby doll eyes. Yo, those are Esper's eyes. Are you crazy? If you survive this, I will catch you. All right. I mean, we're here to catch all the Pokemon anyway. We got to take a look at this, um, this Dex. Oh, man. Let's go. Hi, Enderman. You want to come up here? Come on, Enzo. Come on, my, my favorite Pokemon. Good. Good boy. Who's a good Pokemon? Who's a good Pokemon? Who's a good Pokemon? Who's a good Enjimin? Oh, who's a real baby Pokemon now? You guys can't see him. I don't think he's shown his face yet. Enjimin. What's this? What's this? There he goes. There we go. Hi, Enjimin. Everyone say hi to Enzo. Here's your boy, Enzo. Your resident live stream cat. His name is Enjimin. Should we name uh, Stuffle after Enjimin? Yeah, why the heck not? How do you even spell Enderman? Enderman? I don't know. I never had to spell that. It's like Benjamin. It's Benjamin without the B. But I add an R in there. Enderman. <laughs> Hi, baby boy. Hi, my child. My little Pokemon. You my little Pokemon? You my little battling Pokemon? All right, everyone says hello to Enzo. All right, a uh, wild area is overflowing with special energy measured in watts. You gather watts from glowing Pokemon dens and Pokemon in the wild. You also find trainers who are will willing to give you items just for your watts. All right, well, I need some Pokeballs. I kind of want to go find another purple. You guys want to find another purple light? I don't think the purple lights are here anymore. Hi, Benjamin. A revive. What's that in the water? Oh my gosh, fishing. Oh, dude. Wait, wait, do I have a, a fishing net? Uh, apparently, I had one in my pocket. Holy moly. A Goldeen Goldeen. Goldeen Goldeen Goldeen. You guys know about Enderman's Tail? Have I told you about Enderman's Tail? Alright, if you survive this double kick, I will catch you. Goldeen with Peck, the flying type move, Peck. That's my last Pokeball. That's it. We did the wild area. Let's go find a gym battle. Hi, Angie. And Gino. You guys know about Enderman's tail, right? Enderman's tail has a mind of its own. And look, he's even showing his booty to you guys. What a guy. What a guy. What a little booty boy. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not making fun of your booty, dude. You clean up fine. You're fine. You're fine, my boy. All right. It's dorsal, pectoral, and tail fins wave elegantly in water. That's why it's known as the water dancer. I didn't know that. Did you guys know that? 
All right, we caught a lot of Pokemon today. So let's continue on. Right, Enger? Right, Engerman? Oh, what a good boy. All right, we gotta go. I don't have any more Pokeballs to even catch a purple light or a pink light. We need to go up here. Let's continue out the story, shall we? Hi, Purper. You good boy. You wanna say hi to everyone? Say hi. Say hi. Here we go. Say hi. What a cute boy. Okay, find your way through the wild area to reach Mono Stoke next. Motto Stoke. I need more Pokeballs, dude. Motto Stoke. Moto Stoke. Hey, baby. You guys see this cat? Do you see this beautiful child? Ooh. 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 He uses Tail Whip. It's super effective. All right, what moveset does Enderman have? What moveset do you have? Tail Whip is obviously one of them, and it's super effective against me. Hi. Hi. Enderman's Tail Whip isn't a status attack. It's an actual hit. All right, so if Enderman had a moveset, what would it be? The city is just massive. I need to keep checking my town map, or else I'll get lost. Here in the Gala region, I say it's fair to call the champion a regional hero. Hey, Mancino. Hi. Uh, shrink it down to fit into Pokeballs. The next thing you know, growing massive by Dynamaxing. It must be a lot of work for Pokemon. Yeah, probably. I think Enderman does have baby doll eyes. Ouch, Dakota, you're right. <laughs> he does have baby doll eyes. I agree with you. Minchino likes things nice and tidy. All right, cool. That's nice of you to tell me. Enderman, baby, you are very, very, very good today. Very good today. <laughs> are you going down? Thank you. See ya, buddy. <laughs> All right. Real ace of you to make it through the wild area. Seems like your track uh, ran your Pokemon ragged, though. You should pop into the Pokemon Center. Besides, there's something in there I bet you'll get a kick out of if you're a real trainer and all. Better be a TM shop. That's what I get a kick out of. Competitive battling. Okay, looks like Rotomi is free. Uh, Rotomi are a kind of Rotom information service. It's a handy machine for your trainers. You can even use uh, one to customize your league card. Why don't you try playing around with your league card a bit, Abdallah? Here's a sample for you. Got Leon's league card. League card in your album. Okay, show off your achievements by making a league card. You can customize your card uh, using the card maker. Found at every Pokemon Center. Doing so will also update your card with all your latest information. Trainers all have their own league cards and you can swap Cards with other trainers that you connect with the um, communication features. You can view all the league cards you collected. Okay, that's kind of cool. So it's like trading cards, like Pokemon cards. Uh, bo bo but Modestoke. Sure, it's big, right? Not to worry, Sonya's here to show you around a bit. Come find me after you heal up your Pokemon. The opening ceremony, huh? I get a bit worked up thinking out how exciting uh, and moving it was actually to stand on a stadium's pitch for the first time. All right. I like Sonya. She seems cool. Hello. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Yeah. Uh, okay, why am I reading Nurse Joy? Does this nurse actually have a name? Yo, that turtle though. Our water type turtle's good. Thanks for waiting. Raboot and your team. All right, we said we were gonna go look at our like trainer card or something, right? Use the card maker. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay, cool. Background, whoa, cool backgrounds, yay. Uh, look at this, yeah! Be in this guy's shadow, no thanks. How about, <gasps> that's, hold on, hold on a second. That's, that's Pokemon Rumble Rush, right? Was that, was that, that's not Pokemon Rumble Rush, that is uh, Pokemon, that app game that I played for like, Pokemon Quest, yes, Pokemon Quest. <gasps> and Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, how do I have these? Is it just based on my save data? I don't know what the cogs are, but this is real cool. Pokemon Quest, yeah, dude, let's go. Vaporeon's even in there, my favorite Pokemon, and Mewtwo. Yo, yeah, that's absolutely the, okay, what effect do I have? Starburst. Lens Flare. I don't know what that is. Fire, lightning. Yo, let's go Starburst. Okay, cool. And let's do a frame. Oh, dude, Pokemon Quest frame? Are you kidding me? Yo, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee? Yo, this is real cool. All right, Game Freak, hats off to you, dude. Hats off. You take a look at my save data. 
and you give me some unlockable things like Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, or Pokemon Quest Data. Yo, if you guys didn't already download Pokemon Quest, it's free, and you get these free backgrounds. So, yeah. Alright, so I could zoom in. Um, uh, hello? hello? Yep, yep, that's cool. Yep. Uh-huh. Uh, clear coating? Or a matte coating? Whoa. Let's go clear coat. Oh, I was supposed to do something else. Change expression. No! Uh -uh. <laughs> oh, shocked face! Shocked face emoji! Alright, we'll do that shocked face, and then you can change your pose. Uh, let's dab. Oh! Where's the dabbing pose? Oh! Yeah! Alright, that, that's, that's actually kind of cool. Um, you can go rotate, or you can move, and this one's rotate. Yeah, buddy! And you press R to zoom in some more. Yeah, that's my uh, that's my thing. That's my card right there. That's actually kind of cool. You put your name on it. Yeah, that's so cool. All right, let's go. Clear coat, man. Print it. Print. You guys can have them. I'll autograph them to you guys. Okay, cards are waterproof, and now you got it. That's that's actually real cool. All right, all right. Low key, I'm really really impressed with that. I'm very very impressed with that. Tell me you got Pokeballs. I'm buying ten at a time. Thanks, man. And tell me, you guys in the Galar region, sell me Premier Balls for every 10. Yes. That's right. Premier Balls on the house. Let's go. Buy them in 20s now. Watch. I'm going to buy them in 20, and I should get two Premier Balls. Yeah, so that's great. That's actually real good. Oh, man, that's real good. All right. Let's go Premier Ball it up, man. I'm going to do another, uh, another, another 20. Should be okay. 4,000 bucks. So I've got five Premier Balls. We're going to save those for the legendary Pokemon. You guys realize that. I hope you do. Uh, potions, i got five right now. I'll buy five right now, just in case. Just have a, a round ten in case I need them. It's fine. And this guy, maybe he sells TMs. Maybe. Pokemart, let's see. Here to buy. What are we buying? Ooh, Heal Ball. Net Ball, Nest Ball. I mean, they're a thousand bucks a pop. I don't, I'm okay. I don't really need them. I need Great Balls, though. But here, I do have a lot of things to sell in my Treasure Pouch. Treasure pouch. Here we go. Stardust. You can have that for 1500 Yep. Uh, you can also take Tiny Mushroom for two. Yep. Don't need these. Big Mushroom. You can take all three of them for big money. Oh, man. Yeah. So that's why you find all these. Uh, a rare bone. Let's go. It's not a hold item for anyone. So let's just do it. A nugget for 5000 Yeah. I don't even remember picking up a nugget. Balm Mushroom. Sure, man. We are rolling in money now. Pearl for 1000 Big Pearl for 5 k 4K? Yeah, man. Now we got 45,000 bucks. We're fine. <laughs> this is absolutely awesome. All right, I just need Great Balls, so... If you got a Bunnelby, would you like to trade it for my Squivet? Um... Yeah, but I already have a Squivet, so... I'm okay. Not, not for now. That's an in-game trade. That's kind of cool. All right, different shopkeepers sell different things. Okay, good to know. Thank you. And what about you two? It's always better to weaken Pokemon before you try to catch it. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for... Thanks, Captain. Rotom inside Rotomi are rather fond of the card maker. I'm sure they are. Dude, this is cool, man. That is real cool. All right, well, we got to look around here. This is... I mean, we still have an entire episode. We did an hour and a half of just, uh, like, exploring the wild area. And now let's take a look at this area here. All right, Modestoke is something else. What other city has a lift to take you between the upper and the lower districts? Uh, so what? I can't go this way? Okay, whatever. Fine, fine, whatever. I'll allow it. Hey! Uh, so, a brilliant young trainer who's braved the wild area. Do you remember what your goal in Moto Stoke is? I'm here for the gym challenge. Yeah, the gym challenge opening ceremony. That... Who's that Pokemon over there? I remember her. I don't remember it now. By the way, the ceremony tomorrow uh, is being held at the Monastoke Stadium, okay? Yo, that Onyx, though. Ooh. Use that lift over there to get the stadium. Yeah, let's go. Steeny? Serena? Uh, well, later, I'm going to swing by the shops while I'm here. Don't forget to register at the stadium, okay? I think we need to still take a look at what we need to do here. And I kind of want to take this hat off. I don't really like the hat. I need some pretty cool hairstyle. Uh, anyway, I love flower Pokemon. Well, cool. Congrats. I always bring flowers home on special days. Okay, Pokemon loves the scent of flowers so much. How about you? What do you got? 
We use Pokemon move growth to raise our flowers. So they get really large. Well, that sounds uh, interesting. We're about to go get a haircut, guys. Hey there. Welcome. What would you like today? Uh, let's do hair. I have to pay up front. Oh, gosh. Okay, now then, what kind of look do you want today? Caesar cut? No, medium? And wavy braids? Side part? Undercut? Bowl cut? Long hair? None of these! I don't want any of these! Where's the where's the faux hawk at, dude? Why did I pay right away, man? This is trash. Lame. Undercut, though. Undercut looks a little sleek. Except for the mullet part. No, sorry. Where's the faux hawk, dude? I guess I'm gonna do my same haircut. Gold hair? Whoa. Ash brown? Caramel blonde? Wine? You could go like full on. Can I just leave and get my money back? Can I just leave and get my money back, lady? I, I didn't want that, but I guess I'm gonna have the same color hair as I did before. I just dropped 3,000 bucks on a haircut I didn't want. Yay, it looks the same. I literally cut one piece of hair. Would you like to put your hat on? Oh, no, I'll leave it off. It's all right. All right, that was the worst haircut I've ever experienced in my life. Who pays for a haircut up front, man? <laughs> Yo, you get tipped based on how well you do to my hair. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's a little unfortunate. All right, we need some new clothes. Yo, look at this thing. All right, 62 bucks. Oh, oh, polywag, cute. Can I zoom in? Oh, what is this, loose top? Okay, urchin. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I need some new duds, man. Let's see what we got. Oh, dang. Hoodie? I like that hoodie. I like the black hoodie, too. The black hoodie looks like what I'm wearing right now. Oh, uh, you got pants? Okay, designer denim. I need I need some new pants. I like a gray pant. That's actually real cool. Yeah, 11,000? I'm spending it on pants. 11,000 on pants. Put them on. All right, what about socks? Don't care about socks. Shuka boots? I don't care about boots. I got a new bag. Oh, check out these new bags. Ooh, dang, look at that. Traveler bag. Yo, branded? No, I spent a, on a hat? No, unless it's got like a Pokemon on it. Yo, look at these shades. Oh, dude, cool. I spent a lot of money. Gloves. No, I guess we're good. I bought some new pants. I'm a big fan of gray pants. Let's do that. All right, what do you got? Uh-huh, Sonya, hello, hello. Yep, do some shopping. Don't forget to register at the stadium. What about you? Nothing much about fashion. Don't care about that. You guys have, like, handouts? All right, struggle is real. Okay, stand out in the wild area. I guess I'm okay. I mean, I'm fine. All right, bought some new pants. Hey, pardon. Uh, pardon what? Uh, you're just an NPC that I don't talk to? Okay, how about you? What do you got? Oh, you're a Pokemon trainer. Let me give you something nice. TR focus energy. Dude, you can take your TRs and keep them. I don't know how I feel about TRs yet. They break after one use, so they're extra old school. I don't know how I feel about that, man. What are these records? And what is this? Like a Starbucks? Let's go in. Okay, and what is this little Pokemon? Hold on, what is that? I don't know what that Pokemon is. The battle cafe, you can battle here once a day. If you win, we'll give you a treat on the house. Do you want to battle? Yeah, let's battle. Uh, cafe master Dwight, go easy on me. I got nothing but babies. Oh, if you're bringing out Combi, I'm fine, man. Done. Your tie is not tied long enough, Dwight. Let me help you. That battle was as deep as some Komala coffee. A strawberry sweet, wow. Put the strawberry sweet, okay. Uh, when a milsery holds this, it will spin around happily. I don't know what a milsery is, but Okay, is it must be a new Pokemon? 
How about you? Hoot Hoot uh, enjoys the bitter flavors. Okay. Uh, obsessed with Mr. Kabu. Collects Mr. Kabu's cards. Hey, there's a Growlithe. That's cute. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, so we did the Battle Cafe. Uh, you've already battled today. Please come back tomorrow. All right, well, that's a daily thing that you can do. That's fun. Okay, look at that. Look at that. All right, what else we got? Um, I think I'm ready to move on. Unless I could take a look at this wing. I think maybe there's going to be an invisible wall that prevents me. Or maybe not. There's something in the trash. You got to throw Pokeballs. I mean, he was throwing Pokeballs in the trash, so I guess I just stole that from him. All right, so nothing there, really nothing else. It just, it goes either straight, left or right, and then you got some small shops on the side here. So I think it's safe to say, let's uh, let's move on forward. There's the Onyx that beat me up earlier. Hi. Onyx is big, but it can get even bigger doing Dynamaxing, cool. How's it? I came all the way from Alola. Ooh, hey, what's up? Say hi to Hal for me. Oh dang, even more shops, okay. If you could choose my, if I could choose my own uniform number, which one should I pick? I can't make up my mind. Oh, dang. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. You can choose your own number, huh? All right, let me give you high-tech earbuds. No need to thank me. Why? What is this? Strange earbuds that allow you to freely control the volume of various sounds. Okay, do you know what's so high-tech about them? When you put them in your ears, they actually let you control the sounds of your surroundings. You can even make them stop specific sounds, like Pokemon cries. Well, that's kind of cool. It's like the sound test mode, but like in an in-game item. Why am I able to not go in here? Okay, uh, it says, uh, so many books, an ad about the gym leaders. Okay, uh, it's a bookstore, but I can't go in here. All right, great. Paralyzed heals, awesome. Some sort of Pokemon. Who's that Pokemon cry? Oh, if it isn't Charizard and is Leon, look at those uh, brands on his uh, on his cape there, his sponsors. All right, I'd surely never make it to a stadium without uh, you to show me the way, partner. Even with a huge old thing like this bang in the middle of the city, I still get lost. Abdallah, all right. One look tells me that you become a trainer worthy of that endorsement I gave you. And yes, I reckon you might be even ready to use this. Here, try giving this to your partner to hold. Oh, great. Charcoal. Yeah, that charcoal's good. I'll take that. That boosts, uh, what, maybe 10%, 20% for fire attack moves? Yeah, let's go. You can take that lift up to the city's upper level if you're ready to head the stadium next. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. But not ready just yet. Okay, so we're going to go bag. We're going to go over to equip items. Maybe this. Polka doll, Orenberry items, charcoal. Here we go. So we're going to give to a Pokemon. We're going to give it to Raboot. And he's going to hold that. So that's awesome. And I think we're good. Yeah, let's talk to these people. Okay, Steam's power is amazing. Awesome. I'm always frightened by planes. That's that's right. Yeah, how do you how do planes even fly, right? Mr. Rose has a real love for the Gala region. All right, so we remember Mr. Rose from the opening intro. Books about the gym leaders and really nothing else. Okay, so I'm ready to take this lift up. This lift reminds me of that one city in Pokemon um, Sun and Moon, right? Except for it does it in a circle. Who is this? Who is this mascot? Pokeball Man? Ew, what the heck? That's not where I was going, but sure. Pokeball Man. It's Motostoke Stadium. This is where the opening ceremony will be had. Everyone will be watching the opening cer ceremony for the gym challenge. My mom, your mom, the whole world. It's getting me a bit nervous, really. Oh, no, this isn't nerves. I'm only trembling because I'm so excited. Come on, Abdallah. It's time the world learned our names. Yo, everyone knows your name. How? Hold on. I gotta go talk to Pokeball, man. Ta-da! You took the time to talk to a Pokeball, so you deserve a little reward. You get a Pokeball! You get a Pokeball! I'm Pokeball, man. In case you're wondering, I'm not just any old Pokeball. I am Ball Guy. <laughs> they call me Ball Guy? <laughs> Yo, if it isn't Ball Guy. Listen, Bald Guy. Or Ball Guy. Get out of my face, Ball Guy. Oh my gosh, Ball Guy. Really? You're going to call him Ball Guy. And I've got great ball qualities. Okay, right. The stadium can even handle diamonds. 
Yo, ball guy. Dude, ball guy's the best. Ball guy for Smash right now, man. I'm telling you. Whoa! Corviknight is a Pokemon that flies all about carrying people where they want to go, but even they get tuckered out. Hey, Corviknight. One day I'll get a Corviknight. Oh, I can't even go that way. Corviknight's blocking it. All right, whatever. All right. Ball guy. Ball n guy. Dude, ball guy's the best. Come, let me get over here and get some secret stuff. Look at this. Got a repel. There's Ball Guy's fountain made in his likeness. All praise Ball Guy. <laughs> Dude, Ball Guy. <laughs> Yo, Ball Guy even has hair. Yo, Ball Guy. I love Ball Guy, man. I wish I could have a Ball Guy mask. Or I should be able to go to the, um, to the hair cuttery salon and ask for the Ball Guy cut. Yo, dude, ball -n guy. Ball guy, best character in the game, man. I'm sorry. Ball guy. Ball ganya. All right, anyway, um, I know you guys are really excited about ball guy, but the show must go on. I can't stay here and talk to ball guy all day. All right, so the ladies won't let me pass over there because they're too excited about ball guy. I know, man. Ladies and ball guy. It's just, uh, it's just what they like. All right. We League staff are here to provide support for the various matches that occur throughout the gym challenge. Alright, well, let's go. Ball guy, root for me, dude. I'm doing this for you, ball guy. <laughs> dude, I love ball guy. Ball guy's getting all the girls, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I need a ball guy hat. Alright, would you take a look at this? The place is packed with the gym challengers. Everyone is focused on another rival. <laughs> <laughs> dude, forget collecting all the Pokemon, dude. It's collecting all the times where you met Ball Guy. We should have a Ball Guy Pokedex. Oh, who's this dumb looking kid? He's a gym leader, isn't he? I remember seeing this guy. We're gonna destroy this kid. Do it for Ball Guy. Alright, seriously, what a piece of work. If you're here to register for a gym challenge, I need to see your endorsement, please. I love Ball Guy. Ball Guy's the best guy. Fancy that. This is the first time we've had a challenger endorsed by the champion. Well, now that uh, you've had two, uh, because I am as well. What? Two of you at once? I wonder what's come over Leon this year. The two of you must be something special. I'm Hop. You can call me Paul Guy. <laughs> I'm Leon's little brother, in fact. And the next champion. Get me all signed up, would you? Well, yes, I'm trying to. Uh, if you'll give me just a moment. There, you're successfully registered as gym challengers. Now you can choose your preferred number on your uniform. Uh, if you'd be so kind, it'll be displayed on the back of the uniform. You must wear for any official match. All right, it's obvious, right? Zero two six, is it? Very well. Uh, and here, wear this challenge band at all times to identify yourself as a gym leader. The opening ceremony for gym challenge is to be held here tomorrow. All the trainers taking part have been booked at a room nearby the Boodoo Drop-In. That's the league chairman for you. Even booked us all hotel rooms. I'm off to check out the fancy digs. Ball guy. Alright, that's cool. I'm sorry, only challengers taking on the gym can go beyond this point. Alright, deal. What about you? Opening ceremony. My whole family will be watching. Uh, should I go check my hair one more in the mirror? Yeah, you look not enough like Ball Guy. I heard that this year's gym challenges include uh, trainers that were endorsed by Chairman and even the Champion. Everyone all already nervous. Will we make it to the end? Well, I don't know. And this ugly dude. I was endorsed by the Chairman himself. In other words, among all those elite enough to get an endorsement, I'm the most elite of all. So why don't you clear off and not try talking to me again, would you? It's positively criminal of you wasting time of someone as important as I am. We are about to smash that guy right in the mouth with our ball guy. Hello. Let's do our utmost as gym leaders. What's your number? What's your number, girl? Yo, what's your number? What's your number? Hello. What is this Pikachu? Hold on. You're looking a bit gobsmacked by all this. This must be, uh, you must be from a small country town. Is that right? I'm quite it myself. Excuse me. I like your, your little Pikachu, um, D. Denny over here. Alright, well, that's kind of interesting. The little Pikachu D. Den mix. Oh, hey, look! Those are those things from the, uh, from Gen 1 Pokemon. The little Pokemon statues. That's cool that they left them there. 
All right, so I, I wasn't really reading. I was too busy thinking about Ball Guy. Uh, where do we have to go? We got to go to the hotel or something? You must be a, you must be Challenger Abdallah. The Voodoo Drop In is down this way, if you'd be so kind as to follow me. Well, good, because I was too busy thinking of the next joke about Ball Guy in order to, to do that, so. All right, we're going to the Ball Drop In. Challenger Abdallah, we have arrived at the Badoo drop in. All right, time to get some rest and build your strength for what's to come. Ball drop. All right, I'm getting some rest. I know you guys are dreaming of ball guy. I know you are. You don't have to deny it. Who is this with a sword and a shield? Excuse me. Hiya. It looks like you both got yourselves registered. Hey, Sonia, what are you doing at our hotel? I'm researching the mysterious Pokemon that are said to be in the slumbering weald. I reckon if I look into some of Galar's legends, I might figure something out. Care to join me? You're here already, anyway. I'll tell you about Ball Guy. This is the legendary Ball Guy. <laughs> this is before he was blessed with his cool helmet. There's a statue of a hero who once saved the Galar region. I could run through the legend right quick, if you fancy. Ah, give me all the details about Ball Guy. I want to learn about him. Long ago, a great black storm covered the Galar region. People called it the Darkest Day. The land was assaulted by gigantic Pokemon, but they were defeated by a single young hero bearing a sword and a shield. This statue here is meant to depict the young hero of that legend. We still don't understand what kind of sword and shield the hero actually had. And what this black storm is supposed to be is just another mystery. Whatever it was, it blotted out the skies all across Galar. I suppose that tracks uh, with it being called the Darkest Day, but still. Huh, I suppose the hero must have been about as strong as Lee then. Looks like you're going to have your hands full with plenty of research, though, Sonya. Black storms and swords and shields and all. Uh, you'll be alright. Ah, oh, thanks. I'll muddle through somehow, don't you worry. You two are staying here at the hotel tonight, though, aren't you? Shouldn't you check in? Probably so. We'll look out for you too, Sonya. If we hear anything about the hero and whatnot, we'll tell you. Guys, we already know the the secret identity of the hero. Right? Who is it? Let me know in the comments. What's the problem with those guys? I can't check in. Oh, man. Who the heck are these guys? Team Skull? What's the deal with this Team Yell? I can't check in. All right. Well, Team Yell. We came all the way out to this big city. So that we can properly cheer on the gym challengers. Team Yell is here to help, after all. You're in for a battle if you want to stop us. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm up for that. Let's go. Let's fight. Alright, Team Yell. Okay, these guys are ugly. Uh, you look like a potato. Didn't we tell you, mate? You get in our way and you're in for a battle. Team Yell is all about helping. Helping one very special trainer win the gym challenge, that is. We want to make sure she gets cheered on nice and proper. And now you're going to help us. Make some noise. Alright, so this is the, the new team, apparently. No Team Rocket. No Team Rainbow Rocket. No Team Skull. Alright, get him, Reboot. Oh, man. I'm sorry, not sorry. Team Yell. You got rock, dude. That was it? Went looking for a fight, I lost. I'm so pathetic. Yeah, that's true. I'll take your money, though. You big belly boy. Who is this guy? Oh, give me a break. Team Yell, get revenge for me, would ya? Oh, dang. Hold on. Hold on. Ah, uh, of course I got you covered, mate. What could be a better uh, than a battle in a lovely hotel lobby? <laughs> the hotel guy behind the counter is like, uh, can you guys please take this outside? And you're holding, uh, oh wow, I like this model. Model's pretty cool. Okay, and what is this green looking Pokeball? Weird. Nick it? Alright, well, about to nick it night this guy. Nick it night. Oh, quick attack. Oh, that's pretty good. I mean, you knew you were going to eat a hit, so. One. See ya. Yeah. 
Nick it, night, gone. Team Yell Grunt, adios. Oh man, must have got a bit carried away being in this swanky hotel and all. Sorry for getting in your way. I mean, that's cool. I don't know. Uh, uh, my first impressions of of this are really weird because look, they just they just copied the models. They straight copied the models. There's there's the boy model, there's the girl model. They didn't change anything. This is a typical game freak. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, I wasn't expecting checking in would be such a big fuss. What's going on? Sneaking in some Pokemon battles without me? I don't think you can get ahead of me that easily. Uh, I need some training in, so I'm joining. I'll even heal your Pokemon up, too. No one asked, dude. I didn't even take any damage. I'm Hop, one of this year's gym challengers, and the one who's going to be the next champion. And the one who's go uh, and now let's have a nice two-on-two. -two. It's just, like, copy-pasted. These two guys and those two guys. Like, come on. I can already hear my victory coming. The only sound you'll make is a whimper of defeat. What if we did like Grookey versus Grookey and Scorbunny versus these two clowns? You bring a Wooloo to battle. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to take out uh, this Nicket, so we're good. Dang. Wooloo. Level 10 Wooloo. I mean, mine's a level 10 as well. Maybe. Right around there. Okay, level 13. Great. He's tackle. Get him, boy. There we go. Big tackle. Nice job. You snarl for both of us, right? Yeah, that's a very good move for competitive battling, for sure. <laughs> Why is this guy rocking out, though? Just non-stop. He likes the music in the background? Good music. My voice is unsure when I'm sad. I want to yell, but I'm unsure. I can't just see the gym challenge opening ceremony, but this is awful. I'll take the money, thanks. All right, guess it was about to, uh, I guess it was defeat that I heard come in. I think I'm about to cry. What are you lot doing here? Marnie? Nothing, we was just uh, I know you're all terribly curious about the other gym challengers, but we gotta show a bit of restraint. Marnie, I'm telling you, favorite right now. Dude, you thought that um, Sonya was awesome as an NPC design? Marnie, 10 out of 10. All right, they're just a bunch of my fans. They call themselves Team Yell and follow me around cheering for me. I think they've let it all go to their heads a bit. Come on, you lot, back home with you now. They're just so caught up in wanting to support me and all they tend to get a bit, uh, they get a bit shirty with the other gym challengers. Excuse me, what does that term mean, shirty? Sorry if they cause you any trouble. So you're a gym challenger too. Team Yell, was it? Pretty impressive that you already have a set of fans to call your own. What is that hair? Is that hair shaved and then has like the designs in it? Oh, weird and awesome at the same time. Hi, little baby. They're just so caught up with wanting to support me and they get a bit shirty. Yeah, I don't know about shirty, man. Uh, I, I guess we probably should head to the front desk and get checked in. Yeah, let's talk to this guy. Good evening. Welcome to the Boudou Drop-In. You must be one of the Pokemon challengers. Yes, I am. Young Master of Dolly. See, the League has booked a room for you. And if I might, thank you for helping us out of a sticky situation with those hooligans earlier. I hope you have a pleasant stay here with us. Sleep well. Oh, dang. Worst Gamer plays. Yo, hey, we haven't had a member in quite some time. Thanks so much. I was about to mention that. We're at like the two-hour hype. So let's talk about it. The next morning. Let's talk about it. Let's start that member train up again. We got to get 300 members. Let's go. Morning. Top of the morning to you. Now my legend really begins. Watch out, Abdallah. I'll beat you. 
Tomato Stokey Stadium. Hey, all right, everyone, welcome. Worst gamer plays. He's probably not the worst gamer, but he's pretty cool. That's right. Member in hour two. Good job. We're at 278, guys. We're so close to that Premier Ball emote. We need it. We need it in our lives. All right, let's go. So what is this? Uh, onward to the stadium. I don't even get to view my hotel room? Come on, what kind of shortcut is that? Average gamer, wait, yo, hey, dude. We have worst gamer, and now we have average gamer. We need best gamer to complete the trilogy. Where are you at, best gamer? <laughs> average, is this the person with two different accounts? We've got worst gamer, we got average gamer. Uh, are you alting? Sponsoring on different accounts? That's awesome if that's the case, welcome. Gym Challenger, the opening ceremony is starting soon. Please allow me to escort you to the gym stadium. All right, follow close and be careful not to lose sight of me. All right, so remember, I'm writing your name down, Worst Gamer and Average Gamer. We're going to name Pokemon after you once we get back to catching Pokemon. So, may not be on this episode. All right, ball guy. Come on, come on, come on. Give me that. Oh, dang, dude. Ball guy. We already have best gamer. His name is Ball Guy, but Ball Guy needs to become a member. So someone make an account with Ball Guy's picture and do that. All right, where are their uniforms? All right, opening ceremony. You know what that means? I need you to get changed. Here is your uniform. I'm gonna go into the fitting room. We're gonna put on our Ball Guy outfit with my Ball Guy hat. Zero two six. Oh dang! Yeah, buddy. That's awesome. You guys remember, like, the 026 was in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Just saying, it was. Not like that's Raichu's number or anything like that. You look sharp as a pin, and that 026 there, that really is the number for you. Alright, let's go. Alex, can't wait for this game tomorrow. I know what starter I'm picking. I'm going to be playing this all weekend and Monday to Wednesday, just giving support. Thanks, Alex. Appreciate you, man. Here's Rose. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rose, chairman of the Pokemon League. I know that everyone gathered here and everyone watching from home have all been waiting for this big moment. It's my pleasure to announce that finally the Galar Region Gym Challenge will now begin. Yes, the Gym Challenge. Participants must defeat the eight gym leaders and gather eight gym badges to prove their skills as a trainer. Only the most worthy will have the honor of challenging the greatest champion in history. Now I'd like to invite the gym leaders to show themselves. Do you guys think that in 2019, the standard of actually doing voice acting in Nintendo Switch games should be the standard? What do you guys think? Not necessary? Too much work? Yo, who, oh, yo, Nessa though. And this little guy, Milo. The Raging Wave, it's the master of water types, Nessa. Oh, I'm coming for you, Nessa. Who's this, Kabu? Yo, hey, <laughs> thanks, New Age. Thanks for the super chat. All right, here we go, oh, yes, yes, B. I like B, who does she remind me of? She reminds me from uh, that girl from Gotham. Okay, and Gordy? Hello, Gordy. Who do you remind me of? Dude, the animations are pretty good. And this is Raihan, the top gym leader. Oh, taking a selfie over here. Look at this guy. Unfortunately, we're missing one, but... The gym leaders that we own. Uh, okay, okay. Proud to call our own. Awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Who are we missing? Is it Leon? Leon's like the last one? All I know is that we're going to beat all these guys. And here we go, ladies and gents. Representing the 026 from the YouTube channel, Abdallah Smash. It's none other than your boy. Welcome. Nice hair, dude. I mean, sometimes my hair looks like that in the morning, but... I still want my faux hawk. Where's my faux hawk option? Standing there on the pitch in the stadium in front of everyone. There's really no words for it, but I can barely contain myself. My heart's racing. You made it at last. Hop and you too, Abdallah. 
Hello, Chairman. So you two are trainers of our champion Endorse himself. Welcome. It's a delight to meet you. I'm Rose, of course. Oh, and what's this? I see you both already possess Dynamax bands. How wonderful. It seems you two have been led here by the guiding light of the wishing stars. By the way, it was my wonderful company that invented those Dynamax bands, you know. I dare say that this gym's challenge is looking to be an absolute blast. Very good, very good indeed. That means the whole Gala region is in for some excitement. The gym challenge is an excellent opportunity to show off your Dynamax Pokemon. And now I'm terribly sorry, but there's some urgent business I need to attend to, so I must be on my way. Best of luck to both of you. Okay. Chairman certainly seems to be in high spirits. Now listen closely, you two. You've both only just started on your paths as trainers. If you want to win, you need to do more than just train your Pokemon. You need to train yourselves too. Let's do it, Abdallah. You know the gym challenge has a set order that you've got to visit the gyms in, right? First, there's the turf field. And to get there, we need to head to Route 3. Okay, the gym challenge is an event uh, in which aspiring trainers travel around the Gala region to try to collect gym badges from eight of its gyms. To earn gym badges, you must have to complete that gym's mission, also defeat its gym's leader. What do you guys say? Is this a good stopping point? I would say so, because now we've, like, accepted the whole gym, um, the gym concept. We can kind of, like, call it. I think that's great. And we're at, like, two hours in. I think it's a beautiful stopping point. Because then, on the next episode, we can go aim for our first badge, which is pretty great. Yeah, very, very good stopping point. We need to do this, though. Yeah! Gym challenge! Deal. Deal. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for our episode. Thank you so much for watching. Join me at the top of the next hour where we will indeed, uh, we'll do the next live stream. We'll do part three. It'll be super fun. So make sure you guys are on that. I'm going to show you guys what we're going to be doing now. And we should be all good. So here we go. Here's the link. I'm going to put that in the chat. It is an unlisted video. You guys have the link first. So take a look at this. Click right over here and take a look on screen. We're here. I want to see you guys start trickling in right now. At the top of the next hour, oh man, I got to adjust this timing. At the top of the next hour, we're going to be ready. Um, we're going to do it. So follow Puffton's lead. Head on over to this. This is part three. It's an unlisted video. No one's got the link besides you guys. And then I think we're going to get our first gym badge. I think it's safe to say that we can do that. Um, I think that the game pacing has been going pretty great. We used a lot of our experience candies to get our score bunny evolved and like stronger than the rest of our crew. But of course, we'll see how that works, right? We'll see how it works. I think we've done an awesome job. Shout out to all of you guys. Everyone say hello, wave, do the emotes over there. You guys can click on that link in the description. But we're gonna be streaming this game all day. I do like to take breaks in between, so that's why we're not doing like a full game walkthrough because you gotta stay healthy, right? Gotta move around, gotta take care of my back. And uh, it's a little bit more digestible if we have like two hour live streams where you guys can catch up with them afterwards. Okay, so all of you guys are here. You guys are gonna be waiting. I don't know if I'm gonna start in 15 minutes or so, but I'll adjust the timer accordingly, but it's gonna be a really good time. So be there. Before you guys go, we should absolutely head on over and um, head on over to that before, uh, but we should do this though. I should give you guys the comment question of the day, right? We talked about a giveaway at the very beginning. So we're giving away a copy of Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, courtesy of Nintendo. They're hooking me up with another copy of the game, but I've bought my copy of the game with my own money. So they're going to be hooking me up with an extra one. So I'm going to give it to you guys. That being said, answer the comment question of the day. Uh, it's the giveaway comment question. Which Pokemon in the wild area was your favorite that we've shown you guys on screen over here? And of course, tell me why. So once the video loads up as a, an actual video that you can comment on, I want to see you guys answer this. So while you're at it, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and turn on notifications so you guys are alerted of when we go live. Like I said earlier, we're playing this game all the way until completion, and then some. We've got a lot of post-game that we're going to be doing, battling with you guys, doing raids with all of you guys, all that fun stuff. It's going to be a super fun time. So I can't wait to read all of your comments in the comment section below. Shoutouts to all of our members that came on board. You guys are awesome. We had five new members that came on board during this live stream. And don't forget, I haven't forgotten about adding you guys. We'll add you in the next episode. It'll be super cool. So help us reach our goal. We only need 20 more members. 20 more members in order to get our goal of a, that new emoji. We got to do it. 
It's only like base price is like $4.99 a month to help support your favorite YouTuber. And uh, the highest price is like $49.99. You could level up. That'd be pretty cool, right? Level up like you're a Pokemon. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me right now. I will see you guys in the comment section of the next video. There's still a lot of you guys trickling in right now, which is great. There's 97 of you guys here. I'll put the, uh, the, the link in the comment one more time. So make sure you guys click on that. I'll make this video public. I'll, I have to, I have to actually get some lunch though. So I think I'm going to push this back like another 30 minutes and then we're going to continue on. We're going to beat this game. I want you guys there. It'll be a super fun time. So thanks so much for watching on screen right now or the playlist, subscribe, notifications, all that stuff. We'll see you later. Thanks so much for being here. Take care.